In this video, I am going to tell you how to prepare a curve table for an alignment in Civil 3D. So one of the main major problems we face when we preparing a curve table is the curve numbers are not in incremental order. So I am giving you a workaround in this video so that you can get the curve numbers in, in incremental order. But uh, in this workaround, you have to create a new alignment instead of the current alignment. So I will first show you uh, what is the issue when we are getting when we add curve numbers so curve tag labels to curves in alignment. So first I will change my scale to one is to 200 so that I see the curve labels clearly. So what I do is I select the alignment then go to add labels go to multiple segments and I select this alignment. So you will see I get so many labels here. So I will delete the labels in the straight sections. And I will select these curve labels. And one of the curve label I will select and then go to edit label style. So I'm going to edit this current label style so that I can get the updates straight away. So instead of the labels in the information general tab, in the display mode currently it is label i have set it to tag so it will show me a tag instead of these labels so i click ok and click ok again now you will see the curve numbers are appearing they are not in order this is c48 c uh, 1 c23 cxl if you go to the end this is c42 and in the middle you have c47 c44 so they are not in Order. So if you prepare a curve table, the curve numbers are not in order actually. So the curve, the curve locations are here and there. So as a workaround, what we do is I will first delete all these labels. Right click and delete all these labels. Then I go to create alignment from existing alignment from here. So I select this current alignment. So I snap to the corner or the start point of the current alignment at the zero point. Then I go until the end. So I click here and until the end and click finish. So it will create us a new alignment. So I say this is no labels and I'll accept the default styles all that. Click OK. And on this new alignment, I am going to add the labels so now i am going to select this top alignment so i click here and i have two options so these options are selected shown if you have selection similar turn on selection cycling turn on so make sure you have turn on selection cycling on your uh, command settings and make sure the selection and cycling number is two so i select the top alignment here which gives my new alignment then go to renumber tags, then go to settings. So make sure this curve starting number is one. If it is a separate number, you have to make it one, then click OK. Then go to multiple segment from here, then select the top alignment again. So now you will see all the curve numbers are in order. It will go up to 48. All the curve numbers are in order now, right? So if you want to delete this alignment straight section labels, you can right click, go to select similar and delete. Now you can see all the numbers are in order, not like earlier, right? So now from the, this new alignment, you can create a curve table. So you select the alignment, then go to add tables, add curve, and you have to select the tags here. So click here, select all these tags with the crossing window, then right click then you have some options to select how your table look like so you can uh, change anything you like then click ok and then it's asking to asking for a place where we can uh, save this or locate this table so i click somewhere here so now you can see they are shown so they are shown from the descending order that means the last curve comes first and the first curve goes to the last so if you need to change this order select the curve table 
go to table properties from here make sure uh, go to edit table edit current selection make sure sort data and it is in the ascending order click ok and click ok again so now you can see the curves lab, curve labels are in ascending order so in this curve table you can see the curve number radius length code direction starting point ending point and all these things so that is how you can create a curve table with civil 3d and make the curve table with the curve numbers in the incremental order as it is as it should be in alignment